In this video, we'll be looking at how to create your first component in a schematic format and also a PCB format. This first component will be a diode. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make your first component. And today we're going to make a diode. As you can see here, I have library manager open. If you don't know where this is, this is the book symbol, libraries. And from the previous video, we have made our own custom libraries. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and start with creating our own schematic symbol. So if you see here, we have several options, add file, new item, and wizard. We are actually gonna select new item to start from scratch. As you can see, you're then presented with a blank canvas, and then you can start drawing your diode symbol. So here on the left-hand side, we have, for example, pads, shapes, a line tool, open shape tool, rectangle circle. So you can use any of these to start drawing. And this can be quite fun because you can play around with it. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to add two pads. One and two. These are the two connections for our design. And then, so you space them evenly apart. We're then going to use the line tool to connect these two points. So there is a connection from, from pin one to pin two. And I'm going to select the triangle shape. This will allow us to draw a triangle for our diode. Just click and then drag. You can simply create a triangle. As you can see, this is currently an open shape in the middle. It is not filled. You can right click on the actual shape and select properties. And then some more options appear. So what I'm going to do, you can select the color. I'm going to select filled and tick that option. Press apply. And as you can see now, the diode is actually filled in black. I'm then going to add the line. This is to represent what side is a cathode. And I'm going to add a reference origin. So you can have a reference for your symbol. And that is as simple as it is to make a schematic symbol yourself. It's actually very easy, just using drag and drop. And now we're gonna go ahead and save this in your library. And I'm gonna call it my first diode. Okay, so now that is saved, you can go ahead and enter your library again and you will see the diode now appears in your schematic library. If we move on to now the next tab, PCB symbols, we're gonna do exactly the same and select new item. Now you should be presented with a black background for a PCB design. You may have to zoom in a little. Um, and now we're gonna add Again, two pads. For our design. And then you'll see on the left-hand side, again, like schematic, you have different options. You can add a rectangle or an open shape. We're gonna use the rectangle tool. I'm actually going to finish it there and just move the pad over. Yep. As you can see, the color of this is blue. If I click it and click L on my keyboard, this is how you change a layer. At the moment, it is on the bottom silk screen. I would like this to come up to the top silk screen. So I'm going to select top, press OK, and your component will then be yellow. Every layer has a different color and you can have a look at these colors using the color symbol on the top toolbar. 
I'm now going to complete my diode by connecting lines to the pads so that there's a connection. I'm going to change these to top silk screen layer. We are going to add the cathode indicator and change that to top silk screen. Just make sure all the layers are the same. This is on the top silk screen. And there we have it. Your first PCB symbol. There's also things you can do such as add reference origin, which is always good to have so you have a reference for it. And also with your pads, you can right click and actually access more options for this. You can change the shape of your pad. There's round, oval, diamond. You can have any sort of design you like and then change the size of it here. I'm going to keep mine as it is, but feel free to play around with those options. So I'm going to go ahead and save this into your PCB lib and I'm going to call it my first diode. Okay. In your library, you should see your schematic and PCB design now. So the next step is to create a component. This is actually taking these two designs that we've just created, making them into a component that can be used in your designs. So to do this, I'm going to select new item. And here you will see a number of options. If you have an RS part number, you can enter this. You can enter the title of the component. You have to enter the package. There's lots of different, such as surface mount. And we'll select DSC. But feel free to look through these options. Default reference, you can just have whatever reference you like. I'm going to call my component my first diode. And here is where you select your schematic symbol and your PCB that you would like to use so that everything lines up nicely. Once you click OK, it's just aware in making you aware about the part number. You will see this window appear where you have your schematic and PCB. And here you have the pad numbers for each. On your left hand side, you'll see there are some options where you can assign pins so that the pins on your schematic and your PCB line up. What I'm going to select is assign pins one to one. And this will make sure that both schematic and PCB have the same pins that will provide the same outputs. Here you can input the terminal names. I'm not going to do this now, but you can enter the terminal names for each of your points. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save component as my first diode. Okay, and if we go back to your schematic part of your design from your project and you go to add component, these are all the design spark tools and there's several different libraries. I'm going to go to my library and select my first diode. You'll see the component you just made is now appears under add component. Once I press add, you can see it and I can add it to my design. So this has been creating your first component and this can be done with many different components in a similar way.